po, Impact Church PH. Yan po ang ating YouTube. And for our next announcement, yung ating Impact Small Group Leader Summit that will be on August 14, next Sunday, after ng service. So, huwag po kayong mawawala, small group leaders. Kung nag-lead po kayo ng mga... Ay, thank you, Angela. Pakabuti mo talaga. Bising-busy ka. Ayan. So, kung nag-lead na po kayo ng group, invited po kayo dyan. Pumunta. Okay po? That will be on next Sunday. And next announcement, uh, Area 3 Youth Fellowship. Ito naman po is on August 21. So, for uh, lahat ng youth invited to join. And si Kuya Jun Basia, si Kuya Jun, yun, yung patayo tayo sa likod yan. Kaway, 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 kaway ka naman. Lahat ng youth interested to join, uh, approach lang mang po si Kuya Jun para mabilang po namin kayo. Pero wag naman po kayo, wag po kayo magalala, dito naman po gaganapin yan after ng ating worship service. Ayan. And syempre, gusto po nating pasalamatan ang mga tao na nag-extend ng kanilang offering para sa ating special offering para sa pagpapagawa ng ating church. Maraming salamat po sa bukas palad na pagtulong nyo po sa pagbigay sa gawa ng Panginoon. Pagpalain po kayo nawa. And bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating tithes and offerings, syempre gusto po natin batiin ang mga visitors for this morning. Unang-una po dito si Peter Joshua Valiepor. Andiyan po ba si Peter Joshua? Ayan, welcome po sa church. And then, meron pa? Okay. Sige po. Next naman po ay si Peter John Paul Valledor. Magkapatid, Valledor pala yun. Mali po ako ng basa kanina. Patawarin niyo po ako. And si Karil Christine Tayo. Welcome. Si Sirces Dwayne. Welcome po. Camille Makapagal. Welcome po sa Impact Church. Ang dami po nito. Ah. Alexis May Timbreza. Ayan. And si Marius L. Sabaleg. Joyce V. Ignacio. Carl Christian Tayo. John De Jesus. And si Ati Marisol Kita. Daming pars ni Ati Sol. Ah. At saka ang kanyang husband na si June Kita and ang kanilang daughter na si Treasure. Ayan, welcome po sa Impact Church. And bago ko po pala makalimutan, gusto rin po nating batiin si Ma'am Mirasol Domingo. Nakakapasalamang po sa nakaraang licensure examination as a teacher. Ayan, ganap na po siyang guro. Congrats po sa inyo. And ngayon po, uh, tumayo po tayong lahat para sa ating pagbibigay ng ating tithes and offerings. Manalangin po tayo. Lord, patawarin mo nga po kami, Panginoon, dahil naging makasarili po kami sa aming buhay, palagi pong sarili namin ang aming iniisip, mga pangangailangan namin, Panginoon. Inuuna po namin ang aming sarili. Nakakalimutan namin, Ama, mag-relay sa iyo, Panginoon. Lord, ngayong umagang ito, Panginoon, hayaan mo nga po na may balik namin ang papuri at pasasalamat sa iyo, Panginoon, sa pagbibigay mo ng biyaya sa amin. Sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng aming tithes 
at ang iyong offerings, Panginoon, ang aming offerings, Panginoon, para sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Lord, dahil hindi ka nagkulang sa amin. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Maaari na po tayong lumapit at ibigay ang ating tithes offerings. Morning everyone. Morning po. Good morning po sa mga taga Kogyo that has started worshiping in a new se- uh, setup. Kagabi kahapon po, nagpost si Pastor Zero sa Core of Leaders ng Impact Church ng pictures. Hindi pa po tapos 'yon. Kanina umaga, nagulat po kami may dingding na at lahat na May kurtina na rin, and they're ready to worship the Lord with us there. We are thankful to the Lord for that. Uh, the, the, we, we release some amount para maayos yung place nila and dumoble sana yung space nila doon. And kaninang umaga daw po, there were 44 kids who worshipped and had the Sunday school. I just don't know now kung ilan po sila doon, pero magandang umaga po sa inyo. Morning everyone here. A while ago, I was thinking, sabi ko, yung blessing ba talaga yung lumuwag yung church? <laughs> Kasi parang walang tao eh, nung nag-uumpisa kami. Pero imagine the Lord has brought everyone here and welcome to Impact Church. Welcome to this little church that the Lord has been blessing. Uh, rare po ako mag-preach ng birthday week ko. Kaso I haven't been in the pulpit for such a long time. <laughs> Kaya sabi ko, sige, magpipreach ako today. But before we go on, let us pray. Lord, we are grateful to you for today. Lord, we are thankful for all the people who are here um, worshiping you and Lifting your name up high, for indeed, Lord, you are worthy of all our praises. Lord, we thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace that abound so much, Lord God. That indeed, Lord, even if we are not worthy, hindi po kami karapat dapat, pero Panginoon, hinayaan mo at binigay mo ang iyong anak, nagsakripisyo para sa amin upang we could have that way to worship you and praise you for what you are doing in our lives. Lord, we pray that as we open your word, as we study again, Lord, one of your heroes of faith, may your life, may our lives be patterned in them, Lord. Nawa na mat, maging Katulad kami nila, mataas ang pananampalataya, patuloy na sumusunod sa iyo, despite of the hardships that they face. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit just move in our hearts and in our minds today as we listen to your word and as we meditate on it. We pray, Lord, that uh, we will do higit sa lahat, gagawin namin, Panginoon, kung ano man yung natutunan namin ngayong araw na ito. 
Panginoon, maraming salamat po. Ito po aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we're still in the series of faithfully obeying God. As we've said, we started last July after our anniversary. Magpapatuloy po to hanggang October. We'll hear two lady preachers within the series. And we'll learn more of stories ng mga tao who faithfully obeyed the Lord. Okay? We, we looked up characters both in the New Test- Old Testament and the New Testament so that we could learn from them. Talked about Abraham. Talked about Jacob. Then, no anniversary was Joseph. Last week it was Joseph also. May joma drama po yung preacher last <laughs> Sunday. If there's a weeping prophet in the Old Testament, there's a weeping pastor in Impact Church. <laughs> That's all Limaki. <laughs> but uh, today we'll talk about Joshua. Talk about Joshua. Josue. And what is, ano ba, ano ba, yung, ano ba yung ginawa ni Joshua so that we could follow him? We'll start up with the story of the 12 spies. And these spices, spia. Diba? 12 spies. In Numbers 13 and 14, chapters 13 and 14 of Numbers, we'll find this story. Okay? We'll find the story of the 12 spies. But for our reading today, we'll focus more on Joshua 1 to 9. Kwento ko sa inyo, anong nangyari nung Numbers 13? Eh? What happened there? I'll start there, try to, hindi po ako magpipreach sa whole book of Joshua because we don't have enough time and meron pa pong Holy Communion. Um, so the story is simple. Moses was preparing for their entry to the promised land. Papasok na sila sa promised land, almost tapos na yung 40 days of travel from Egypt towards the promised land, Canaan. And the Lord told Moses to find 12 people, one leader per, per each of the tribe. Si Shumua, Safat, Caleb, Ilga, Hosea, who turned to be Joshua, Palti, Gadiel, hindi po Gad- Gladniel, Gadiel, Gadi, Amiel, Setur, Nabni, Joel, di ba, binasa ko sila kahit nabubulol ako, uh, these are the 12 people whom the Lord appointed to go to see the land flowing with milk and honey. A land that was promised to their ancestor Abraham. Abraham, Jacob, uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, then the 12 tribes. Imagine nyo, gano'n nakatagal yung promise. And there they would come, na conquer na sila ng Egypt, papasok sila, gusto nilang makita kung totoo ang sinasabi ng Diyos sa kanila. If it is true, that that land is flowing with milk and honey. And they went. Went to the, tra- to the place, Kena, oh, look, look at it. Specifically, ang sinabi sa kanila ni, ni Moses, they were sent to explore Canaan. Uh, sabi doon, what kind of land they would live in? What kind of land is Kena? Anong, anong nandun? Uh, are they walled or are they fortified? Ma- Makoconquer ba natin sila on the military side? On the ar- agricultural side, how's the soil? Is it fertile or is it poor? Are there trees in it? O wala? Yun yung mga specific na sinabi ni, ni, ni 
Moses dito sa 12 tribes, uh, sa 12 spies na to. And then, sabi nila, do your best so that you can bring a produce of the land to them. Okay. Kasi, first, first fruits ng grapes during that time. Okay? So, spies went to Kena, si, tinignan nila, tamang-tama, uh, harvest time, nagnakaw sila, nakakuha sila, I don't know kung paano biniliba nila whatsoever, yung grapes. And when my father uh, had this comics Bible na binasa, binabasa niya, and sa bigat daw nung grapes, kailangan dalawang tao yung magbuhat. And in that comics book, talagang dalawang tao, ganyan kalaki yung yung grapes. Diba that, ngayon ang grapes, ganyan lang isang kilo. Diba? Doon, dalawang tao yung isang magbubuhat na isang bungkos. Imagine nyo na lang yun. And that's how fertile the land is. And that's how true the promise of God to these Israelites. Totoo. Totoo yung land we, uh, that's flowing with milk and honey. So, when they went there, they gave a good report, but the ten spoke and said, we will not make it. Hindi natin kaya. Ang lalaki nila eh. Para tayong mga tipaklong sa harap ng mga giants. We're like grasshoppers. Merong isang ano sa Bible na Neftalim. Tama ba ako sa sinabi ko? Nephalims? Talagang giant sila. And they were living in that, in that place. They're tall people. And natakot yung ten spies. Sampu sila, natakot sila, sabi nila, hindi natin kaya. Until Joshua and Caleb stood up and said, we can because God is with us. We can conquer the land kasi nandun ang si Yahweh who has helped us in the desert, who has helped us in every, ano, every, in every situation in Egypt. When, in, when they looked at the past, nandun lang. Problem is, the ten spies said, hindi natin kaya. So, Mga Israelita nagrebelde. They rebelled against the Lord and said, "They cannot do it. Cannot we cannot enter, we cannot conquer the land. Kahit na anong ibig sabihin ano nila, we cannot conquer the land." Then the Lord came and said, "Hmm." Nagalit na si Lord sa kanila. And the Lord gave judgment. And the judgment was, all this generation, lahat sila na umalis sa Egypto, hindi sila makakatungtong dun sa land flowing with milk and honey. They cannot. Except for, sino? Joshua and Caleb. There are only two people. Sa, lah- sa, bu- sa dami na dami ng tao na, yung mga Israelita na umalis from G- Egypt, dun sa time ni, jo- ni, ni Joseph dun, nung umalis sila dun, dalawa lang ang pwedeng tumungtong sa promised land. Not even Moses, because Moses did something wrong. Also. Pero si Moses, nakita niya. Because of the obedience of Joshua and Caleb, they were the only people, part of that generation, who was able to go through that. Because of their obedience, because of their faith in God. Yun yung story that I want to start with. Then we'll, we'll work on Joshua 1 to 9. Joshua 1 to 9. 
is actually the start of the book. Joshua 1 eh. <laughs> Di ba? Start of the book. And dito, Moses already passed away. If he did pass away. Wala na siya. Joshua was being installed as the new leader of Israel. And the Lord, the Lord God gave specific instructions to Joshua so that he could live a life full of success. And hindi propeta ang nagsalita, si God mismo, si Yahweh mismo ang nagsabi ng mga salita na to. Okay? And I would just be specific on verses 6 to 9. It says, Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swear to their ancestors. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey the law my servant most... I, The law my servant Moses gave to you, do not turn from it to left or to the uh, to, to the right or to the left, that you might be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night. so that you may be careful doing to do everything written in it, then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God be will, will be with you wherever you go. When we think about these three verses, how important these three verses in our lives, sa buhay po natin, simply lang yung sinasabi. Be strong, be courageous, God is with you. You keep His commandments so that you will be successful For God is with you, you have to be strong and courageous. And minsan, the fears that we have sa puso natin I mean, entangles us. Totoo lang, when we were thinking about impact kogyo, and when we're looking at it, Two days ago po, pinag-uusapan namin ni Pastor Jero paano nag-umpisa yung church doon. And we're just amazed on how God is working there. That hindi ko alam kung saan, na, saan nanggaling lahat. What we know, it, it's God's who work into it. It's, it's God's work, not ours. Not the pastors, not the, mem the, the people. It's the Holy Spirit working in their lives. Kahapon, I saw pas, uh, Dan, Coach Dan doing the basketball drills to... Ilang kid, ilang youth yung nandun kahapon. Hindi ko na, na pinabilang eh. Sobrang dami. And alam nyo po, takot po akong umpisahan yung church na yun. I was afraid to, to start it. See, we're still in a church planting status here in Impact, Cubao. And then we're going to 
birth another one. For all the churches I've been to, it's the first time that we were able to plant a church. And I was so afraid about it. It's something that hindi ko alam kung paano kami tatapak. Saan kami tatapak? Anong gagawin namin? We, I already have four pastors with me here. Oh, we're four pastors here. Then we will add two more there. Yung isa mag-aasawa, yung isa may pamilya. And all of these needs. I mean, it, it, it just cripples me to think about it. And I was afraid to start it up. Until last anniversary that we said we will walk on waters again with Jesus Christ. Amen. Because God is with us. Right? Sometimes we fear that God won't be with us. But let's remember, God is with us. Thus, the first point, be strong, be courageous, because God is with us. Right? He's with us. Simple lang yung text eh. Simple lang yung pag-construct sa kanya ng writer. Be strong, be courageous. It's a command. God is with you. Right? Next point is that you have to embrace God's plan for your life. Right? Embrace it that kung anong tinawag sa'yo ng Diyos, yun yun. Ha? First point ni, ano, in verse 6, he said, uh, to, jo, God said to Joshua, I will help you. You will be the one. Ikaw yung, to, mag, uh, ikaw yung magiging leader habang tinutupad ko yung pangako ko kay Abraham. And it's, mabigat siya. Mabigat na wait yun. Coming from Moses who did all those miracles and then you're coming in as the next leader with almost a million people behind you and you are to conquer the land. Di ba minsan ang hi- hirap isipin? Pero we all have a place in this world that we need to embrace. Most of, some of us are teachers. Sana mga guru dito, mabuhay po ang mga guru. Apat po yung mape teacher natin dito sa church. Hindi ko nga po alam bakit naging ma- parang mape, mape club to eh. <laughs> 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 Hindi ko na mabilang ko ilan na yung guru, meron pang mga bagong guru na naririto, being trained to be teachers. And we're really making an impact. an impact to campuses, let me just encourage you guys. Alam niyo po, this coming month, tomorrow, we have to be in two places at the same time. <laughs> Kasi po, inimbitahan po tayo ng Moramon Magsaysay High School, Kubaw, to be a speaker, an inspirational speaker sa launching ng Brigada Escuela. Yesterday, Uh, last Friday, we received the, the program already. I was thinking, it's just a two-minute thing, but dun sa program, parang bago po magsalita yung iba, mag- inspirational message muna ako. And I asked them, pwede po bang bi- biblical yung gawin natin? And he, they said yes. Tapos kahapon po, habang, nag- habang nagkakaroon tayo dito ng malasakit, Uh, sa kub- yung Bible study ng malasakit, we received another invitation from one sumulong high school. Tayo na naman daw po ang speaker. Ang problema po, pareho silang alas 9 ng umaga. 
yung monsai, last week pa namin alam, yung, yung one sumulong, kahapon lang namin nalaman. So, we have to divide ourselves. Uh, mauna si, si Gerard will represent us in sumulong. Buti na lang si, pas, si Coach Dan sa 15 pa, hindi siya sumabay bukas. Kasi baka dun pa rin kami bukas. <laughs> Wahiwalay kami. We already gave and visited Kirino High School at uh, Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo High School. And I believe this is one um, one of the calling of this church to minister to campuses, to reach out more young people who needs the Lord Jesus Christ in these campuses. Right? And when you look around, when my nanay, Ate Ann Ardina, told me last time, I feel old already. I'm the oldest in the church. And when you look at it, it's full of young people. Because, Lola na. <laughs> diba? And when you see young people dedicate their lives to the Lord in serving, in making sure, serving the Lord, making sure everything is good, edited well, nakakapag-blast po tayo ng maayos because of this young people from campuses whom we, we harvest from the campus. What, the first batch of graduates will be graduating this year. Congratulations, Kiko, si Ara, who were senior, uh, junior high school when we started ministering to them and now they're graduating. They're going to join the workforce soon. It's embracing God's plan for the life of this church. Question is, what's God's plan for your life? Have you embraced that God, the plan of God for your life? Joshua embraced it even if he's so afraid. Because, alam mo yung ba't ko na-conclude na takot si Joshua? Tatlong beses sa, sin, sa, tat, sa ilang verses na to sinabi ng Panginoon, be strong and courageous, be strong and courageous, be strong and courageous. And that puts emphasis that we need to be strong and we need to be courageous. Right? Strong and courageous. Embrace God's plan for your life. Make sure that in everything that you do, alam niyo yun, hindi naman po kailangan magpastor din kayo eh, katulad namin eh. What we want you to do is to become a child of God, a shining light into the dark world in the companies that you're in, in the communities that we are in Dun po. In just bring forth the love of God there. Katulad nung kanta kanina. So we build our lives, give us love so that we can love others. And that's our prayer. Amen? The third point is be careful in obeying His word. Be strong, be courageous, God's with you. Embrace God's plan for your life, but as you embrace it, you be careful in obeying God's word. How will you know that you're doing God's will? You're obeying God's word. How will we know if we're obeying God's word? We love God and we love others. The Old Testament would have a lot of laws. Marami po talagang inutos ang Diyos sa Old Testament. Pero si Jesus Christ summed it up into two, right? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. Love your others as you love yourself. In what you're doing, dun ba sa ginagawa mo, minamahal mo, yung mga tao sa paligid mo. 
sometimes it's hard to counsel one person and say, tama ba yung gagawin ko? Kasi inis na inis na talaga ako sa kanya eh. Hindi ko na lang siya, mm, talaga. Yung marites na yun talaga. Alam mo naman yung gagawin niya. Alam mo yung dapat mong gawin. Pero hindi mo magawa kasi nga nagagalit ka. Pagka ganun po, hindi po God's word yun, tama? Kasi nung sinasabi ng God's word, we love our enemies, right? We love others as we love ourselves. Ang pinaka, ano ko nga po dito eh, illustration ko dito, lalo sa mga camps, kung yung katabi mo, ay kung ang tingin mo sa salili mo, you are uh, worthy to have a Starbucks drink, Dapat yung katabi mo, yung kaaway mo will also have worthy of that drink to love others as you love yourself. Right? You feel that you you deserve blessings, then you have to give out blessings to others. Because they deserve blessings as well. Isa po sa mga tanong ko habang sinusulat ko tong sermon na to, paano ko malalaman yung God's Word. Pag mabuti po yung ginagawa nyo, kahit na minsan, sa tingin ng ibang tao, masama yun. Nakita nyo na nagmamahal ka, tama po yun. Pero kung ang minamahal mo lang sarili mo at yung crush mo, mahirap na yun. Di ba? L- yesterday, we were talking about s- sa aming small group na hindi kami nakapagpapicture sayang. Uh, si Teacher Matt who's celebrating an anniversary today. Hindi uh, ko lang ho alam kung kailan magpo-propose. Nandito naman si Kuya Rolly. Ay, baka ma-pressure, wag na. Uh, sorry, inside story po yun. Pag po nandito kasi si Kuya Rolly from Qatar, meron po nagpo-propose. Una po si Pipo yung nagpo-propose kay Dean. Tapos nung bamalik siya dito, si, J- si Gerard naman. Sabi namin, ay, hindi, baliktad pala yung story ako. <laughs> Nauna pala si Gerard bago si Pipoy. Well, hindi po namin alam kung sino. Sa September po ulit, ang balik ni Kuya Rolly, baka po may nagpaplano. Baka, i-ano nyo na lang. <laughs> Ba't ako napunta doon? Ayun, yung story ni Teacher Matt. Yung story ni Teacher Matt was this. Every end of the semester, the teachers have an administrative job that they need to do. It's an evaluation for their performance-based bonus. Hindi ko matandaan kung anong pangalan nung, ay ano na yun. Ayun na yun. <laughs> Di ba? And si Matt po was hired, newly hired by the SDO of Manila uh, last June. So wala pa siyang three months. But he has to do that. And may dalawang ang held daw po sa... na tago na lang natin sa, master, sa pangalang master teachers ang nagbubulong sa kanya. Ang una, sinasabi, taasan mo yung grade mo, magsinungaling ka na lang. Yung pangalawa, sinasabi, wag. Hindi niya ngayon alam kung anong gagawin niya. Ginawa niya yung tama, pinatawag siya ng principal. Takot na takot siya. Ang tanong ba naman ng principal, pag upo pa lang niya, gusto mo pa bang magturo dito? Ganyan mo naman, kakahire mo lang June, June July, sabihin niyo, gusto mo pa magturo? So, when he explained what happened, yung principal, pinuri siya at sinabi, tama yung ginawa mo. Sabi ng HR, hindi ka pa dapat maglagay kahit baksa ka dun sa ano na yun, okay lang, kasi hindi ka pa nakakapagturo. Ayan, there are so many things in this world that can easily 
bring us to lie, to, to do what is not good. Pero as Christians, we need to obey God's word. We need to be strong, courageous. There are stories like this that we need to do and stand up for what is right. Tama? Lalo na sa mundong ito na lahat ng paningin ng tao, sa paningin ko, tama ako. ba? Diba? May filmmaker nga na ganun eh. Tama yung ginawa ko kahit na historically mali yung sinasabi niya. Be strong, be courageous. Fourth point. Malapit, ay. In obeying God's word, we need to know it. Not only know it, but also meditate on it and make sure that you apply it. That's the formula in reading God's word. June, paabot nga ng Bible ko. Diba? That we only don't read it, but we meditate on it day and night. More importantly, use it in our lives. For we do, if we don't, then we are not obeying God's word. Pwede tayo magsalita lang. Sabi ng Bible, ganyan, ganyan. Ito yung napakaraming kristyano na quote ng quote ng verses. Pero when nakita nila yung, nakita nila yung pamumuhay nitong kristyano na to, uh, parang ayoko na maging kristyano. Parang lahat na sinasabi mo na gagaling sa Biblia, pero lahat ng ginagawa mo taliwal, taliwas sa sinasabi ng Biblia. And that's hard. Right? Ang pag-obey natin sa salita ng Diyos, kung anong sinasabi ng Bible, yun yung ginagawa natin. Hindi magkaiba. Hard? Right? Pero if you want to be successful, obey God's word. If you want to be successful, obey this. Si Lord mismo nagsabi niyan eh. Not me. Wherever you are placed, whether in Palau, whether wherever, in the Philippines, in Timbuktu, let others know that Christ lives in you by obeying God's word. The Lord will give you success. And it ends up with be strong, be courageous. Because God is with you. Napakahirap ng trabaho, di ba? I mean, it's hard to obey. When there's a down, when there's a big task ahead of you, Sino po yung katulad ko na pag masyadong malaki yung task na nasa harap, sa, nasa harap ko, I, I tend to bug down. Kiisip ka muna, matatakot ka muna bago ka gumawa. Na ba? Parang dami-dami ng trabaho natin. Pero pag inumpisahan mo, makikita mo na unti-unti mo siya natatapos. Hindi dahil sa lakas mo, hindi dahil sa galing mo, dahil magaling yung kasama mong Diyos. Tama po ba? It's not by your might, not by your strength, but by the Spirit of God. When you're afraid, remember to stand up and say, God is with me. I will walk. Tatayo ako, lalakad ako, magpapatuloy ako kasi kasama ko ang Diyos. Amen? I want to end the sermon with my story of obedience. After graduation, 
in college, 1998. Opo, 44 na po ako. 1998, I don't know what to do. Sabi, kwento ko na to eh. One time, I went to McDonald's, applied there kasi HRM graduate ako. There's an interview. The reviewer asked me, what, how do you see yourself five years from now? Ah, typical question. <laughs> Sabi ko, I see myself as a pastor. Sabi ng no interviewer, I will call you, don't call us. Ah, sige. Antayin naman ako tatlong araw. Sabi ko, tinawagan nila ako. Eh. Ganun ako confident. Of course, di nila ako tinawagan. And lo and behold, there's this lady from Alliance Biblical Seminary, my district youth director, asking me, do you want to go in Bible school the year after? So, ko, Ats, ang, sab, ang gusto ko, ano eh, ah, magtrabaho muna ako, ako magpifinance ng, ng pag-aaral ko. Sabi niya sa akin, hindi, may scholarship naman eh. Samahan kita. So, I entered Bible school. 1999, I entered Bible school. Sabi sa amin ng presidente ng Bible school nun, ah, you're from San Juan Alliance Church. Domingo. Ah, mayaman nanay mo. 50% lang scholarship mo. <laughs> Sabi ko, remember that ads? Sabi ko, patay. Did not deter me to enter Bible school took my first class foundations in youth ministry for four modules that summer within that summer <clears throat> i don't know where the lord where how i provided hindi ko na maalala kung how i provided for it but one one thing i remembered my father and i was driving papunta kami galing kami sa bahay ng lola ko and lola ko at that time was about to to go na rin. And I told him, inuna ko yung tatay ko kasi yung nanay ko ayaw. Galit talaga yung nanay ko, nag-Bible school ako. <laughs> Sabi ko sa papa ko, pa, pasok na akong Bible school. Sabi ni papa sa akin, sige, suportahan ta ka. Hindi naman po ilonggo yung tatay ko. Yung, alam niyo yun, yung, yung panahon na yun, yun yung commercial And I entered that summer also. There's an opening, June na ata, and there's an opening in, in, the, in the school to become a assistant to the dean of students. And of course, my ate Anne would tell, Uy, apply ka na, sige na, dalhin mo na. Para ano na, maganda na matapos mo, ganito, ganyan. And I'm the youngest who finished my graduate diploma at age 22. 2001. And many things happened. Became the dean of students, uh, assistant to the dean of students, not the dean of students. Masyado po mataas yun, yung mentor ko po yun. Assistant to the Dean of Students, we planned for concert, a major concert by with Gary Valenciano in it. And then I said, I'll resign, I'll go full-time. And when I went full-time for my studies, syempre kumita, kum, kumita ako nun, kahit maliit yung sweldo, kumikita kami nun. And yung sweldo ko, ginagamit ko din sa ministry. Hindi, man, hindi ko naman binabalik sa magulang ko yun. So, when that happened, sabi ko, mawawala akong trabaho. I remember telling my, my sister, te, pasok ko Bible school. And my sister was, hindi pa siya politician nun. Pero sabi niya, sige, I'll support you. Alam niyo yun, yung Sinabi niya yung, I'll support you. I was in the, I was in a jeepney. Sa jeep ako. From Cubao to San Juan. Simula po Broadway, kung alam niyo po yung in Domingo Street na yun. Simula Broadway, 
doon ko na-receive yung text na susuportahan kita. Hanggang doon po sa may iglesia ni Kristo, malapit na sa palengke ng San Juan, para akong si Raulong umiiyak sa, sa loob ng jeep. I don't know that all the fears that I have in my heart just simply went out. And I was reminded that I need to be strong. I need to be courageous because God is with me. In the middle of in the middle of my stint in AGS, my second semester, first year, I was Huwag niyo bigyan ng tissue dito, lalo tutulo to. Ah... In the middle of my two-year term for my Master of Arts in Christian Education, my father was diagnosed with lung cancer, with metastasis in the brain. It's golf ball size dito. I was struggling with my... Uh, nito? With my exegetical paper in Old Testament. when we learned about it. And it was hard. Okay na ako. Ito naman weeping prophet eh. Okay na. Many challenges came. That's one of them. I have to take care of my dad. That was my job when my sis, my first, my second job is to be a private nurse to my dad. I saw him deteriorate. Without losing his faith to his God. Kasi po siya yung nagdala sa amin sa pananampalataya sa Joseph. That even at his deathbed, I know he left knowing that he will go to heaven and rejoice in heaven. Then my district youth director day started. Said to my DMS, hindi ko po kaya kasi... Tatay ko, may sakit. Sir, sabi niya, hindi. Gawin mo na yan. Months after that, my father passed. And that started my 10-year district youth director. Minana ko po yung trabaho ni Ate Al. There I found many young people. Sol. Marisol Kita here is one of them. He's now a, a wife of our missionary in Palau and doing ministry there. She's just one of many youth leaders that God entrusted to me so I could train them and make them disciples who will make disciples who will make disciples. Make an impact in the places God has placed them. Sa kalagitnaan po na, I was wandering in many churches. Sobra. Until the Lord led us to plant Impact Church six years ago. In many cases, I was weak. Sabi ko nga eh, hindi ko kayang pumili ng ataol ng tatay ko. <laughs> Sobrang weak ko. But I have to be reminded that God's with me so I can be strong and courageous. I have to obey God's word at His calling even if I know that I'm weak. I know that there are things 
sa buhay ko na minsan hindi tama. Pero again, it's all by God's grace. That amazing grace that we receive from God. That I can stand here to you, in front of you today telling this story. I know it's not yet the end. I asked for 20, uh, 20 more years. Si Pastor Jero, 40 pa daw eh. O 20 na lang. I don't know where God is going to bring us as a church. Pero what I know is God is with us. Amen? So, how did Joshua ended his story? At his, when he's about to leave, he said to is the Israelites, this verses he said, be strong, be very strong, and be very be careful to obey all that is written in the book of the law of Moses without turning aside to the right or to the left. At the end of the ministry of Joshua, he was telling everyone, be strong. Keep the Lord's commandments. Do not associate with these nations remain, that remain among you. Do not invoke the names of their gods or swear by them. You must serve. You must not serve or bow down to them. But you are to hold fast. You have to hold fast to the Lord your God as you have until now. Manangan daw po tayo sa Diyos. Panghawakan daw po natin ang Diyos. Panghawakan natin ang mga pangako niya, ang mga utos niya habang tayo nabubuhay. Yun po yung challenge sa atin today. We can celebrate His amazing grace as we hold fast into His Word. God Himself calls us to be strong and courageous. To obey His words, not turn from left to right. And remember, remember these people, we are just passerby in this world. Passerbys, attracting everyone in the journey, crossing our journey. Attracting them to Jesus Christ. So we can share the love of God to them. We can hold on to His promises because He's with us. Be strong. Palakas po kayo. Maging matapang po kayo. Because Hindi, hindi dahil malakas ka talaga, hindi dahil magaling ka, pero dahil nandiyan ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Amen? Let's prepare our hearts to remember Jesus Christ who came, who I guess also was in a way Afraid, afraid of the cross, right? Sorry, nag overtime ako. But let's remember his life. Yung buhay ng Panginoong Jesus na binigay sa atin. I invite all uh, our leaders to help us distribute the elements as we listen to the song Amazing Grace let's remember God's grace for all of us Amazing 
Let's all rise. Father, we thank you for the life of Joshua, how you have allowed him to be our model. Thank you for the life of Jesus Christ, who died for our sins and cleansed us from all our iniquities so that we can be recipients of this amazing grace that you have. 
as we remember Him today, may we also be reminded that at one point, Lord, we promised You that we will serve You, we will love You, we will obey You. Lord, remind us and empower us, Father, to do, to do as we promise. For we know, Lord, that You are with us. Thank You, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. For what I received from the Lord, I also pass on to you. The Lord, on the night He was betrayed, took bread. And when He had given thanks, He broke it. He said, This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever we eat the bread and drink of the cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's pray. Our Lord Jesus Christ, we are grateful for the amazing grace that you have given to each one of us. Lord, maraming salamat kasi naramdaman namin ang pagsama mo, ang pagmamahal mo sa bawat isa sa amin. Tulungan mo nga po kaming maging masunurin sa iyong salita. Yakapin Ano man ang plinano mo sa aming buhay. Kasi alam namin, Lord, that whatever it is, we know that it is for our good because you love us. Help us to be strong, to be courageous as we walk this life, as we journey through this life. Help us, Father, to be strong to see you as our fortress. Help us, Father, to be a light into this dark world. So, para po, katulad ng pagtanggap namin sa iyong dakilang pagmamahal, maipasa po namin ito sa iba. Napatuloy na nangangailangan ng liwanag at ng pagmamahal na nagmumula sa iyo. We thank you for victories you have given to our lives. Thank you for pa, mga nakapasa po sa board, nakapasa sa mga requirements to have a good work. Mga nakapasa so that they can graduate this year. We thank you for the wisdom, the strength that you have given to them. Indeed, you are so good and you are amazing, Father. Father, I pray for those who are sick. Continue, Lord, to just heal them. To those who are fearing, Lord, of some health concerns, Lord God, I pray that they would have peace that passes all understanding that comes from you. That you are in control of their bodies. And that if they need the miracle, Lord, you are willing to do so. So, Father, we pray for healing for everyone. Physically, emotionally, emotionally and spiritually. That they would find you. They would find your healing. Lord, we thank you because we can serve you. Help us to be faithful in that area, Father. To serve the church, to serve you through the church, through the community that we are in. I pray, Lord, for the preparations for the upcoming school year. May you bless all the campuses we are in. And even, Lord, as we prepare, Lord, to minister to high school students face-to-face -face again. May you strengthen each one of us. Give us wisdom how to do it the best way so that they can know you more and love you more. 
Thank you for the presence of our missionaries here in our midst. We pray for June and Sol as they minister in Palau. May your blessings be upon them. May your strength be with them, Father. And may your enabling grace enable them to reach more locals for your glory and for your honor. Lord, we thank you because we can face tomorrow strong with courage because you are with us and you will bring everything into your into completion not for the glory of our names but for the greater glory of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ our Lord and our Master my brothers and my sisters receive the blessings from the Almighty to him who who's able to keep you from stumbling and to present you before his glorious presence with great joy and without fault to the only God our Savior be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, both now and forevermore. Amen and Amen.
Good morning, church. And have a blessed, blessed week ahead. God bless everyone.